new book, Zombie Science, I touch on the issue of junk DNA, so-called junk DNA, about which I wrote another book several years ago, The Myth of Junk DNA. When uh, the function of DNA was first being uh, worked out, biologists realized that only about 2% of our DNA, of human DNA, codes for proteins. And even then, as I point out uh, elsewhere in the book, it doesn't completely code for protein even then. But 98% of our DNA, apparently, to them, had no function at all. And so Richard Dawkins and others argued that it was just a, a, a leftover from evolution, like a, a harmless parasite that just hitched a ride on the DNA that actually did something. And so for many years they argued that 98% uh, of our DNA was junk and that this provided evidence for evolution. Jerry Coyne has ar argued this way. Uh, uh, Francis Collins argued this way in a book called The Language of God. Uh, and yet, uh, in the last 15 years, we've discovered that this so-called junk DNA actually serves some very important functions. The year after I published The Myth of Junk DNA in 2011, a project called ENCODE, or Encyclopedia of DNA Elements, came out with a whole bunch of papers documenting functions for the 98% of our DNA that does not code for protein. Uh, and the functions have just increased since then. I mean, every, every hardly a month goes by when some other element of so-called junk DNA is not reported to be functional. Now, interestingly enough, <clears throat> defenders of Darwinian evolution still insist that it's junk. Uh, they say that the uh, measures of function used by the ENCODE team, namely that it produces RNA, or it, uh, mainly that's the main function actually, it has a biochemical function, <clears throat> are not really functions when, when you look at things from an evolutionary perspective. And since nothing in biology makes sense except in the uh, eyes of evolution, in the light of evolution, according to them, it's still junk. Uh, so there's a, a controversy right now between uh, people who study the actual functions of DNA and those who insist that evolutionary theory is true no matter what. The latter, to me, is a form of zombie science. Well, the ENCODE scientists uh, are, are just good scientists doing their work to find out how something works. I don't know most of them, frankly, personally, but I don't know any of them that would be called creationists or even intelligent design proponents. So they're just doing their work and reporting their evidence. What they're not doing is they're not allowing evolutionary dogma to dictate their results. And that to me makes them good scientists.